what's going on guys um, I'm making this video for all the new people that um, I'm trying to help to help teach them how to use the EMA lines so um, if you're on Weeple this is how you do it okay so let's act like this is off right okay what you would do is you would click where it say none right here and go to EMA you go to EMA you see the lines right what the EMA lines do is they tell you when is a good time to buy and when is a good time to sell based off the um, the moving average okay so I made mines five as you can see right here um, right here where the colors are the orange say five the yellow the first two numbers say 10 and the EMA uh, over here the purple one say 20 okay so what you would want for a bullish pattern you would want the the orange to be passing up past the yellow now if the orange and yellow passes the purple it is extremely bullish okay so that tells you when a good time is to buy so if you was looking at the stock you would know right here would be a great time to buy the stock if you're looking over here when it crosses okay and it also tells you when is a good time to sell the stock so let's look over here if you would have bought it over here now when the orange crosses the yellow going down and when the orange and the yellow crosses the purple going down that's bearish and extremely bearish so if you bought it right here you would know that right here might be a good time to sell the stock so you could have made if you would have bought a couple of profits you would uh, say if you would have bought a couple hundred shares you would have made 15 cents per share times a few hundred or quick profit you know so um let's get into how I set mines up okay so I like my EMA lines kind of tight to the current price that is getting uh, traded at okay so what you do is you would go here and you would click on um, this right here the cog at the bottom right so after you click on the cog you find the EMA line and then you click that cog as well so I made mines 5 10 and 20 you could adjust yours to um, to find cuz the the higher you make your numbers like if I would have made mines 10 29 and 50 they would have been a little bit further away from the current trading price like I like mines tight okay so I know like I could get in and get out okay um, especially if you're day trading or swing trading sorry about that got a call but also um, I need to start putting my phone on do not disturb when uh, I'm making videos but also this is very important pay attention to the background and the colors of your candlestick or whatever you're using right I like the candlestick so I pick the candlestick pay attention because you don't want your line you want your lines to be clearly seen you see how you look at mines and you can see it now imagine if I would have had a darker color I would have had a darker color it would have been less visible okay so I made my colors let's go back in here I made my colors orange yellow and purple all colors that is pretty bright on a dark background okay if you had a lighter background you might want to do darker colors okay so um yeah that's how you set up an EMA line also with uh, Weeble you're allowed to use two different indicators so I use the RSI um, I, I really don't use it that often I might glance at it to know when something is being oversold or overbought so um, it, it's, it's simple it's self-explanatory there's two lines in the RSI you see the top one and the bottom one when it's up here that means it's overbought that means everybody's buying up the stock which means that there's nobody around really to buy it it's now time for people to sell it and take some profit so when it's that high you'll say okay maybe I might not like if you're looking to buy a stock after it ran up a lot and the RSI is very high you might say um you know this right here the RSI is at 61 you know you might say you know what I'll wait for it to come down a little bit wait for a bunch of selling to happen before I jump back into it these are all things that are very important in helping you decide when to buy and sell a stock so I would paper trade these uh, indicators for a while get a hang of them 
and then use them to your benefit. Don't just buy a stock off of feelings. If you feel something's going to happen to a stock, then the indicator should say what you're feeling. If the indicators don't match up what you're feeling, then I recommend that you say, you know what, I'm going to sit this one out. Okay? So um, set these up. If you have any questions, uh, contact me. Thank you.